Um, I'm actually planning on going to a couple gyms a day um, just to show you some of the gyms I trained at. Can somebody tell me what kind of wine would pair well with camel meat? Ooh, that looks good. I am, and I'm a huge chicken and dumpling soup fan. Good morning, everyone. This is our second day in the life video. We got a, some fun places to stop today. Our first stop is actually going to uh, is going to be to get my blood drawn to do some lab work. We won't show you actually getting the blood drawn, but um, so we are off to Quest Diagnostics to get some blood sucked out of me. So here we go. All right, so we're going to get, um, we're headed to Quest to get some blood work done, and I'm going to put a picture up of the labs that I get done. I typically get my blood work done three times a year. I'm pretty um, <clears throat> crazy about getting my blood work done. Two of the tests are pretty basic, you know, basic liver function, lipid panel, um, kidney function, just kind of all that basic stuff. But one time a year, which is today, I get a very advanced panel done. I have um, inflammation tested. Uh, there's a marker called HS CRP, high sensitivity C-reactive protein that is a really good marker. It can be elevated if you're like sick, but if you're feeling healthy, it's a pretty good indication of inflammation in your body. That's pretty important. Um, there's another one called fibrinogen. It's, uh, it's an inflammation marker. Um, I also get fasted insulin done. I ask people if they do that, and they say yes, but nine times out of ten, they're talking about fasting blood glucose, uh, which is totally different. Your, your blood glucose can be totally normal, but it could be because your body's producing so much insulin to keep it normal, and you don't want to get into a situation where you're fasting insulin, so you're not even eating, but your insulin levels are still high. That means your, means your pancreas is still pumping out insulin to bring your uh, blood sugar down. So I get, I like that, and also you can do, you could, you could punch in PubMed fasting insulin, and or actually put in uh, uh, insulin sensitivity and various diseases, and you'll see all kinds of links. So fasting insulin um, is kind of a lead up to insulin resistance. That's actually what you want to look at on PubMed. Type in insulin resistance and heart disease and anything else, diabetes, and you'll see links with all of it. But um, insulin resistance is uh, kind of the root of many, many degenerative diseases. And so I like to have my fasting insulin levels tested. If they're really, really high, it has to, your pancreas has to work really hard. That usually is uh, indicative of some kind of dysfunction. And then um, and this other test, uh, I get all the basics done too. Uh, we'll get our, our, our liver tested, AST, ALT, bilirubin, all that stuff. A couple of those markers can be elevated from training, so the AST and ALT specifically. So I took yesterday off of training. They could still be a little bit elevated, but um, that's okay. And then for bodybuilders, one of the things that uh, people really struggle with, I see, especially nowadays with the heavy, heavy, hardcore drug usage, is kidney function. You'll see uh, BUN, which is blood urea nitrogen, and creatinine levels uh, elevated, and you'll see another one, uh, glomular filtration rate, GFR, um, which is when that number gets really, really low, sometimes you can be headed for dialysis. So I like to watch those uh, numbers too. Now, a lot of people will um, get these tests done when they're a little dehydrated because you have to fast the night before to get accurate blood work done. So sometimes you get a little dehydrated. I've been drinking water all morning so the test is accurate. That's one thing I would tell people. I've had a lot of people where their BUN was elevated, for example, and I said, just drink a lot of water before you go in and get, just you know, drink normal water before you go in, then get it tested, and then it was fine. Um, but that's really, really important, uh, those numbers. Kidney function, you know, when you have kidney problems, your kidneys aren't as good as your liver at repairing itself. When your kidney is scarred and has problems, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so don't let it get to that point. And, you know, your blood pressure is also, people don't test that, and that can lead to really bad kidney problems as well. I get my blood pressure tested probably about, I would say, once every month. 
it's uh, the problem I have is sometimes it's a little on the low side. I've kind of always fought that. And I actually have to be careful with uh, many different supplements, pump supplement ingredients, because my blood pressure gets really, really low. And the premise behind some of those uh, supplements that provide you with a good pump is it dilates your blood vessels, which can then make your blood pressure get really low. There's one in particular, um, Beat. <clears throat> there was a, I used a product called Beat Elite which was uh, really, really good, but it worked too good for me. And uh, it, it's the same kind of stuff that's actually in Viagra. So I never take that either. I took that one time, so I was gonna die. So anyways, that's just a little bit of a review. Uh, so we're headed there now, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, so we're here. I got my order here. I'm gonna put a picture up of exactly what this is. But, uh, so we're here, this is usually really quick. I walk in, I sign in, and they uh, take the blood. There's usually no wait. I'm, I'll be out of here in five, 10 minutes. All right, we are done. We were quick. That was just in and out. And now we are headed to, since we're on this side of town, to the old world gym. This is where I kind of, I'm gonna say grew up. This was, the legendary gym here in Ohio. It's actually really close to where we're at now. It's just a quick drive. So we're going to go there, check it out, see what's going on. And um, I'm actually planning on going to a couple gyms a day um, just to show you some of the gyms I trained at. And um, so we'll be there in a second. All right, so <clears throat> we're over here at the old East Livingston World Gym. I went to college at uh, Capital University here in the mid 90s and it's right down the street. So I used to just get on Livingston Avenue and drive right down here. Uh, there's not many cars in the parking lot, but it's right over here on the right. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to see any gym equipment in here. Capital Regiment Bingo. Wow, so this is the bingo shop now. I haven't been over here in a long time. So I guess if anybody wants to go play bingo, we can go play bingo. Well, they don't open until 1 o'clock, and it's early in the morning still. So <clears throat> I went to college at Capitol, and I used to drive down here to this gym and train, and um, I met some really, really awesome bodybuilders and powerlifters here. This is where the best bodybuilders and powerlifters trained. There was a guy named Nick Bowman, a guy named Mark O'Hara. Those guys were, they took me under their wing. And um, I'll never forget those guys. You know, I was the little, uh, the, these guys were these great big black guys. And they're like, who's this little white kid that's working so hard? So they really took me under their wing and trained me hard. I remember I would show up here, I, I would train before classes. So the gym opened at six. I would show up here at six o'clock to train with Nick. And by 6:30, we'd you know we'd have five six plates squatting for reps, but uh, a lot of good memories here. Um, and unfortunately, unfortunately, I got kicked out of here. Uh, I was uh, at Capital. The the gym here had a deal with Capital where we could get credits for an internship, and pretty smart on the owners here because basically they got a bunch of free labor. And I, but I knew I could get my internship here. So I got an internship here, which basically what that meant was I worked the front desk and I ran the vacuum cleaner. That was it. So he got basically free labor, never really taught us anything about business or training or anything for that matter. Um, but I gave some memberships away to my friends and they didn't like that. So they kicked me out. And then they ended up going out of business after that. So apparently, I mean, it's a, it's a bingo place now. Um, but anyways, now, I'm going to take a spin over here. I live in these little apartments, $385 a month. I'll never forget it. So I could literally just get out and walk over here to the gym. And I didn't, obviously didn't have a lot of money. I'm sure those of you who are in college now or have been in college, you know how money can be really, really tight. So what I did here when I trained here was I actually did train some people. Uh, I actually trained a lot of people. But honestly, there just really wasn't a lot of money on this side of town, so I would barter. And one of the things I did was I trained people here that worked at, um, there used to be a mall down the street, an Abercrombie Mall, so I trained people for clothes. There's a little uh, Italian villa over here. I'll drive by that. 
those guys, I trained the manager there and he gave me submarine sandwiches and different kinds of foods all the time. So, you know, I would come over here and eat in the evenings. There used to be a little healthy restaurant that was here for a short period of time. And the manager there, I trained him, he gave me free food. So I had all these deals set up where I didn't really have much money, but I at least was training people to get food, to get clothes and things like that. So we're gonna take a quick spin over this way and I'll show you and uh, you know, kind of where I was. This was, in the, this was in kind of the mid 90s, 94, 95, 96. I was here for about three years. So let's take a spin and, and check it out. This place is a ghost town now, man. All right, Angelina's Villa. Angelina's Villa right here. This place had the best pizza and subs and, and calzones. Um, they were here in the mid 90s, at least. When I got here, they're still here. So I'm sure the food is still awesome. But anyways, Angelina's Villas and Subs still here, here after all these years. And right around the corner, York Terrace Apartments. These are the little apartments where I lived for $385 a month. I think I probably had eight or 900 square feet max, maximum. Um, so when I moved here, I mean, I was in school. I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of furniture or anything like that. Um, so uh, actually right, right here is where I live. When you go in here, there's there's uh, like four different doors and you know because there's multiple apartments in here but um so when i moved over here i didn't have really much i had clothes i had a mattress and i had a tv so when you walked into the little front room you would see a little tv sitting on the floor and then in the back uh, one of the bedrooms there was a mattress and i didn't have a i didn't have much money for a long time so actually that's pretty much all i had for like six months I used to have one spoon, one fork, one knife, one plate, and then I would eat and I would wash the, the dishes. That was all my dishes for the next meal. So when I lived here, I remember I used to have dates on occasion, believe it or not. And um, sometimes they would come over like to pick me up or we'd meet her or whatever and they would walk in and I'd say, oh yeah, I just moved in last week. I haven't got everything moved in yet. But really I was here already for like three or four months. I just have nothing. So anyways, that happened a couple times and the, and the ladies were like, oh, that's, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. So anyways, this little, the little apartment here is where I lived when I trained at World Gym for about three years. And um, so now what we're gonna do is, uh, so I left here and then I moved over to another part of town and I started training at some really cool gyms over there. So we're gonna swing by that way now. So here we go on another road trip. All right, so we made it over to Clintonville. It was probably about 15, 20 miles away. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna swing by my old apartment uh, here in a second, but today was my trip to the comic book store. This place has been here a long time. It's a great comic book store. I love this place. So I come over here about once every month or two, just pick up a few fun things. Usually I have my kids with me, but it's, um, I'm on my own today. Uh, they're back doing some schoolwork. So anyways, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna pick up a few things. And then uh, right next door to this place is another gym I used to train at, the Columbus Sports Connection you can see over there. It used to be uh, on this side of the comic book store, but then they moved over to there. So when I left that uh, World Gym that we just visited, I came over here and I started, started training over here and I actually won the Mr. Ohio for the first time when I was training over there. So we, we'll, uh, we'll stop in over there and see who's working. It's been 20 years, so we'll check it out. But first, let's go grab a few things in the comic book store. All right, I found something I really liked here. It's an old Submariner. Submariner is very underrated. He was awesome. He was like an Aquaman, but much, much better in the Marvel Universe. So I'm going to pick this one up. Look, we got some old Silver Surfers here. The Eternals, that's the old gods. 
bunch of name wars. So I'm going to get this. Let's see what else I can pick up. So this is another good storyline here. It's the Avengers. And it's also Namor. And see, this is a tiger shark. And actually, I thought this was pretty cool. There's the tiger shark now. So that's what he looks like now. That's what he used to look like. Pretty cool. But this is a real good storyline here. Uh, this is 9, 10, and 11. And then there's another one here. It looks like a new... I haven't seen this before. <clears throat> it looks like a new series. So this guy used to be kind of torn. You know, does he protect the Atlanteans in the water? Or does he protect the United, the citizens of the U.S., which is where he grew up? And this was interesting because it says he now pledges loyalty only to the citizens of the sea and will go to any length to protect the kingdom of Atlantis. So I want to check that out. Namor was a kind of a brutal dude. Um, he was like, a, again, like an Aquaman, but very brutal. And he didn't really have any um, qualms with killing people if he had to. So today is kind of Namor day. That's why I wanted to come over here, pick up some Namor stuff. So I got some old stuff and some new stuff. All right, so we picked up some cool Namor stuff. And now we're going to walk just next door to Sports Connection. I trained here for many, many years. So I have no idea what it looks like. I haven't been here forever. Maybe when I walk in, they'll kick me out. I don't know. This used to be a CVS back in the old days. All right, so we're here at the Sports Connection and I ran into Jason. Jason was here when I was here. <laughs> and also in the background, Steve, the owner is still here. So we've got a lot of the, the same people here. This was uh, always just a phenomenal gym. This is where I won my first Mr. I.O. Um, just a lot of good memories here. It's a little different now, but they got the Elite FTS racks over here from, from the gang of uh, Dave Tate's uh, crew out there in London. And um, they've got a lot of other rooms here too, but uh, I'm glad to see things are still going really well, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what's happened in the last 20 years? <laughs> and it's changed a lot, obviously, since you've been around. You were probably just next door, right? Yeah, it was next door, yeah. the place that's the karate studio yeah. now. So we've uh, been in business, this will be what, 29 years this year. And so just kind of trying to go with the market, you know what I mean? Changing with the people around, making it a more family oriented and yeah. being able to do everything as well for people like us. <laughs> well, I always liked it because it was family oriented, but there were a lot of people who worked really hard. Like I remember squatting and Jim Seitzer was here. And um, I remember loading up 13, 1400 pounds on the leg press. <laughs> and, you know, I yep. always, I always liked the good combination of just good people that were here. People where you could come here and you could work hard and not have to look over your shoulder. But people were respectful here. Uh, it was just a very good atmosphere. Um, so, you know, those of you guys who are around Clintonville or you want to stop by, this is a great place. It's called Columbus Sports Connection. I had a chance to catch up with Jason and Steve earlier. I really appreciate your guys' time. Glad you so good in. to see you, man. <laughs> I know it's been a long time. And, yeah. you know, the last time I talked, uh, the last time Jason and I talked, we were single. Now we both have kids. Jason's got three kids now. Of course, I got the two. So. It's been really fun catching up, but uh, glad to see you guys Appreciate are kicking butt, man. In, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Thanks. Okay. So this year we just went around the corner. Um, this is another gym I used to train at. It used to be a gold gym. Times have changed. This is no longer a gold gym. Now, look at what it is. Now, I'm not going to go in here. I have no desire to go in here. But this gym used to be a gold gym. It was phenomenal. I've got an old video uh, on this channel under the leg, leg uh, playlist where I'm squatting six plates for reps. That was done in this gym back when it was golds. We used to have some absolutely crazy, phenomenal workouts here. The first year I placed at the Mr. USA, I was training at this place. The year I got fourth at the USA. Um, used to be a phenomenal gym, but now, as you can see, <clears throat> it's a Planet Fitness. They've got the um, 
tables and everything in there. If I go in there, I could probably get free pizza. But speaking of food, one thing I wanted to show you, which is really cool, is they have a specialty grocery store here called Wylands. And um, I used to buy some very unique kind of foods from there when I was dieting, actually. And actually that year I was dieting for the USA, I was getting ostrich meat and some other meats from Wylands. So I want to go into Wylands and I want to see what kind of stuff they carry. Now, I'm real happy they're still in business. Um, but back when I lived over here, it was now we're talking about 98, 99, 2000 and that time frame. Um, and I think even 2001. Um, but anyway, so they were there back then and they're still there. So let's go into Wylands. Let's check out this grocery store. Hey, so one more thing here is we're walking over to the grocery store. This used to be a laundromat. So what I used to do is I would train like two body parts, like chest and shoulders. So I would come to the laundromat, I would put all my clothes in there to wash, and then I'd go train chest. And then I would come back before I trained shoulders and I'd put all my clothes in a dryer. And then when I was done training, I'd, I would come back and fold them. So that was my, that was my laundry technique. All right, we're gonna start off with some ice cream. Gooey butter cake and ice cream churro. This Jenny's is pretty famous around here. Really, really good ice cream. So I can't pass up getting some Jenny's while I'm here. Sausage. All right, I want to know, do any of you know the macros for ground camel? If you know the macros for ground ca camel, leave it in the comments. Well, they still have the exotic meats. They got elk, ground, and it's got five, six grams of fat for serving, which is pretty lean. Um, it's from New Zealand. We have wild boar, which is a little fattier, 18 grams of fat for serving. But um, I want to pick up this and try this. All right. You've got Irish bangers. I don't know what an Irish banger is. Somebody needs to tell me. White pudding. With a picture of a pig on there, no clue what that is. Black pudding. Somebody needs to tell me what this stuff is, so comment below. All right. I have never actually had duck legs, but I'm gonna try some duck legs. Plus we have some chicken meatballs, but I wanna see how these duck legs taste. So let's pick up some of those. So check these out. Smash mallows, cinnamon churro, it's like a marshmallow. And here's a mint chocolate chip. I gotta try these. Pure sugar. All right, so can somebody tell me what kind of wine would pair well with camel meat? Uh, West Coast Red, maybe? That's where I'm at right now. Let me know what you think. What kind of wine would go well with some camel meat? I used to come over here, and uh, when I was trying to gain weight, I used to get their lasagna. This stuff was phenomenal. I'm so glad I still have it. I'm gonna get one of these for old time's sake. But around 2000, I actually got up to 260 pounds. And, um, you know, I'm 225 now, just to give you some idea. But um, this lasagna was one of the keys, man. That's some densely packed calories, baby. Ooh, that looks good. I'm And I'm a huge chicken and dumpling soup fan. I definitely gotta pick some of these up. So we just left Wylands and basically we went across the street. Um, and this is another, this was the apartment that I moved to here. So we just visited my last one on the east side and then I moved over to here. Um, this little apartment, I think this was maybe $400 a month. It was a little bit more expensive, but so we had the Columbus Sports Connection here, the gym that we went to, we had the Golds that used to be there. If you notice, I always moved to a location that's really close to gyms and to where I could get food. That was kind of the, my whole life centered around that. It's like, okay, I don't want to move somewhere where it's too far away from the grocery store to the gym. So anyways, another one of my uh, places where I grew up. So let's continue with our trip. All right, so we're going to stop here and have lunch at Clean Eats. Now, if you guys have been watching my Instagram stories, you've seen that I have Clean Eats meals. This, uh, this company is pretty unique. They have actual stores all over the country and they actually uh, ship food as well. And I love their food. Their food is awesome. 
and they have an awesome menu. So wait till you see this menu. So we're getting a grilled goat cheese and we're gonna get the clean eats nachos, sweet potato chips with shredded beef, guacamole, all that good stuff. And I love grilled cheese, I'm sure you guys know that. This grilled goat cheese, I've had it before. I've had it before and it is really good. All right, we got our food. We got the grilled goat cheese here. Goat cheese is on the bottom, obviously. And these are the Clean Eats nachos. These are actually um, sweet potatoes here. So these are excellent. So let's dig in and enjoy. All right, so as you can see, we have demolished our food here. And I even snuck a little bit of Rocky Road fudge. <coughs> These guys, this is who I get my uh, food from when I order food. You know, it's so much easier nowadays to compete. You have these meal services, these meal prep uh, places to do your food for you. These guys will customize what I want. If I just want chicken and rice, that's what they'll make. Um, you have the spray tanning. Everything is so um, easy for you to compete now. You just gotta stay disciplined, stick to your diet, and train hard. But, um, you know, we were, <clears throat> we're out on the road today, we're filming a lot, obviously, for you. And it would have been very easy for us to pull into a McDonald's or a Wendy's, but we came by this place because it's good food. Sometimes I think that's half the battle now, too, because we're so busy, people are always running around, and you just grab what's convenient, what's easy, fast food or whatever. Um, but we made an effort to eat something healthy, um, except for the Rocky Road fudge. Um, you know, this was, this was grass-fed meat, it was sweet potatoes. Um, it was just a pretty good meal compared to when you would say go to McDonald's. So anyways, I think that's kind of a big key too, is when you're busy these days, just make good choices when you're on the road find really nice restaurants or places like this that will customize your food if you can. If not, just bring your food with you. Simple as that, just be disciplined. There's really no excuses you should have. Um, I can't think of any excuses really. So anyways, we are uh, wrapping up here and we're off to uh, continue the journey for the day. All right, so we're back home and I spend a good part of my day every day actually working. I don't just drive around and go to comic book stores. So um, I'm checking my client check-ins right now. I still coach. And um, so I pulled one up for you just to give you an idea what I do. So here's a guy, Josh Lewis. Hi, Josh. Um, he, so what I do is I have people send in. They stack their updates from previous weeks. So like here's his December the 20th update. Here's the 27th. And here's January the 3rd. Um, so he's telling me his strength is good, his energy is good, his skin fold on the iliac part is four millimeters, 90% compliant with the plan, other than New Year's Eve, he stuck to the plan. And um, he says he has good pumps, good training, so he sends me pictures. Um, I can tell his quads are harder than last week, I can tell his arms are a little harder, his abs are coming in better. The bottom of his quads actually look a lot harder than last week. Um, but anyway, so Josh sends in his pictures and then so what I do is I take that information and I go to his plan. Um, now when I build plans, I don't just send a Word document with a cookie cutter diet, um, which is unfortunately that's very common in our industry. What I do is I, I issue a questionnaire and people tell me what their allergies are, if they have any medical history I need to know about, injuries, things like that. Those are things that you need to have uh, in order to build a plan. And also what kind of foods they like and don't like. Um, that's included the plan. So when I build the plan, there's no use if somebody is allergic to chicken or they just hate chicken, there's no reason to put chicken in their plan. So we customize the plans. Um, I have a guy that does an awesome job for me, Chris Edmonds. He coaches some people. Um, I coach a lot of people myself. Josh is one of my clients. And then I have some other people like Andrew Berry that kind of use our methodology. So you can see down here on the tabs, this is, this is the plan as of 1227. So, so we gave Josh this plan on December the 27th. You can see the red, those were changes from the previous plan. And so I know looking at this on the 27th, I put all these changes into effect. 
And you can see like I changed meal three. I put in ground turkey, some nuts, some broccoli. Pre-workout, I changed some rice. Uh, like if I flip over to the previous iteration, it was one cup of rice. And Josh was dieting really hard. He was down to 2,200 calories because he was getting ready for a wedding. And then once his wedding was over, we started moving his calories back up. So now if you look at Josh, it's the 2,900 calories. So he was growing once we bumped his calories. Uh, or So he's been growing since we bumped his calories back up. But I put the rice back in that I eliminated when he's dieting and so forth. And I actually put in a lot of changes. So now here we are a week later. So I'll look at his update and I'll determine what you know what further changes need to happen or if he's in a good place right now where we can hold off a week. So that's um that's what a client update typically looks like for me. So I just wanted to show you that. All right, I wanted to show you guys my um, website too. I don't really talk about it a whole lot other than flash in this picture during my videos. But for those of you, I never advertise, which is probably not a good idea, but I actually have a member site. It's under members only. And I've had this thing going for eight years now, and I have an absolute ton of information on here. There's different sections, topics of interest, nutrition, training, longevity, in the trenches. In the trenches is where I put actual diets that we follow with people. I go through and show you the entire diet, all the changes that were made. You can see there's a lot of female competitors, male competitors. There's Josh Wade. Um, very, very, very good. Uh, there's Chad. Chad when he won his pro card. Um, so this is a, that's something that a lot of coaches kind of keep guarded. They don't want people to see how they're dieting people. I don't really care if people see it because diets, there's no one easy formula for everybody. Everybody's a little different. I got over 100 workouts in here at least. Uh, the longevity section is, is really good too. Here's one from Jordan Shallow. It's, it's a, from his seminar that he did in Canada. Um, a lot of the member section here is from seminars that I've done across the country and across the world, actually. I've got, a, I've got two seminars, full seminars on here that I've done um, in other countries. I've got people like Scott Stevenson on here, Dr. Serrano's on here. So there's really nothing, there's really no member site that's like this that exists out there that's, that has this depth of information and variety, uh, and variety certainly. Chemical section for those of you who like to in, uh, partake in chemicals. Here's a deep dive on testosterone. This is an extremely popular talk that uh, Dr. Serrano gave at his last seminar. So I just want to show you guys that. Um, like I said, I never advertise, which is probably not good on my part because if I don't advertise, you'll never know what's out there. So for those of you who just want to dig into this stuff deeper, learn more. This is uh, one of the services that I offer. It's, it's 19 something a month and there's no commitment. So you could do one month, literally try. You wouldn't have enough time, but you could try to read everything. And then if you stopped, you would really get it all in one month. Um, most people have been a member of this site. The people that are on here have been members for five, six, seven, eight years. So it's a really good group of people. But um, just wanted to show you that. All right, so now we're getting in the afternoon and it's basketball practice for these guys. You looking forward to it? Oh, right now. I'm you want to play football cold. again, don't you? Yeah, that's what See, I like. See, they miss do. football. That's what I like to hear. So I'm going to take these guys to basketball, and then we're going to make some ground camel. This is going to be a whole other video in itself, though. So you're going to have to stay tuned for when we make ground camel, whatever we make with it. By the way, it turns out this stuff is super lean. So anyways... Thanks for joining, joining me and, and seeing what I do. I certainly don't do this daily, but I thought that would be pretty interesting to check out those gyms and go to some places like the comic book store. So we'll see you next time.